Well hello everyone and welcome back and as you can tell by the title of this video it is time to take on our next ultra boss and that means we got to do the battle guide so we will jump straight into this with the battle notes so Nulgaf has got 10 million HP the Overfiend Blade has 1 million the Overfiend Blade is also going to keep respawning much like the Escherin fight and then you'll be needing to use a taunt in the form of the Scrolls of Enrage to dodge many many nukes that will be happening but we'll get into that more and more as the video goes on the setup this time round is Arch Paladin with Scrolls of Enrage, Legion Revenant with Scrolls of Enrage. You can have a Lord of Order if you want to run some pots, feel free. And this time round, you want to use Continuum Chronomancer, that is the preferred method. And if you don't have access to that, a Shadow Stalker of Time or Chaos Avenger will do the trick. Now let's move on to the strategy. Lord of Order, Legion Revenant, Arch Paladin are all focusing solely on Nulgath. You'll want to be using the Scrolls of Enrage to time taunt Nulgath. I'll explain what I mean by that in a minute. And then depending on your setup, either Continuum, the Chaos Avenger, or the Shadow Stalker. Stalker will be focusing on the Overfiend Blade as soon as it respawns and then you can go on to Nilgath but you'll see me doing that because in this case I'm running Continuum. So we're going to jump straight into this fight. As you can see I'm solely on the sword at this moment in time because I need to get that 1 million HP down whilst everyone else is away on Nilgath. I've hidden players just to destroy the lag a little bit. You all know how these challenge fights go but as you'll see when we eventually get the sword down in just a moment's time already Nilgath's health is starting to make its way down. So let's talk about those timing taunts as you have got two taunters ideally let's just say the arch paladin goes first because of the seals that would make more sense just keep your eye on the status of the scroll and rage just so you make sure you've at least got some sort of taunt going on you don't forget that since they've changed how focus applies it now only runs for six seconds but between the two of you you have got 12 seconds there to use very very wisely you can just keep on rotating those two taunts and then you should be relatively okay throughout the fight you will notice that sometimes some of the other members of the team do actually go down but that's not the end of the world because you can literally just click straight back into the fight. Generally, I've found that as long as your continuum is staying alive or your calf slash shadow stalker, then things go pretty smoothly. It goes without saying, this challenge fight is considerably easier than many of the others in game. I'm not sure if that was intended. Now, this is an important point to make. As you can see, I have been focusing on null gaff since I got the sword down, but now that has respawned, you need to get straight back on defeating that. So if you're the calf, the shadow stalker, or the continuum, then make sure you're just focused on that sword as soon as it respawns. Literally the Estrian mechanics, so as long as you've done that fight a few times, I'm sure you'll get the hang of it. You will also notice I'm using some honor potions. That's just because it increases your damage and mana is really not an issue during this fight due to your support classes. So it made sense just to run that for the extra DPS just to make sure I can get that sword down slightly quicker and then obviously do a bit more damage to Nulgaf. We're well beyond the halfway point now. As you can see, Nulgaf's health is coming down nicely. The sword's down again, so I've gone back to focusing on him. You you can see our DPS is actually really nice. The sword comes back relatively quickly, but you can get straight on that again. It has the boss shield on, so you're not going to be able to straight up nuke him with your chrono, but you can still do a fair amount of damage when you're using that fifth skill. I suspect many of you will be running the Chaos Avenger instead of Continuum, and that's not an issue at all. Just remember, we haven't got a Stone Crusher support in this time round, but it won't make that much of a difference to you at all. You may notice in the background, one of our team members has actually just gone down, already respawned back in and the fight has just continued on. There was no extra damage to the rest of the team because you're well within the fight limits by this point. As long as you just keep on going, obviously if suddenly three of you wipe, then yes, you may just have to restart the fight. The main reasons for a squad wipe in this case would either just be not healing correctly and then therefore having no health to carry on or those taunts are just not being timed overly well. So generally, those would be the two things you just need to look at if you are struggling with this fight a little bit. But hopefully with this guide, you'll be able to get there and at least get the job done with this class set up and your scrolls are in rage if you don't know where to get scrolls in rage you have to join spellcraft and that is where you can grab them from and obviously honor potions down at arkham grove anyway guys as you can see we're just about to turn that one in and that is more insignias ready to go spend in this merge shop anyway thank you all very much for watching make sure you leave a like and of course subscribe and i'm sure i'll be back in the future for yet another battle guide until then have a lovely day